Greetings YouTube, we are back with Let's Play in San Aquarium Deluxe. Um, here we are for my little summary of Wadsworth. Wadsworth helps by sheltering your baby and medium guppies from hungry aliens. Essentially, as long as you've got um, smaller guppies, as long as you have at least a few bought, you can't lose during an alien attack because he will just protect them all. Unfortunately, um, the ones you really care about are the large fish, because you really don't want them to be eaten. Um, so, there is a better pet for protecting your fish from aliens, but he will do for now. So I'll show you Wadsworth. I think we'll do Merrill and Stinky. So, here we are in the third tank, which has some kind of oriental theme to it um, which will be highlighted by the aliens we see in this tank but considerably happier today um, not due to the fact that at lunch we had a sort of party in which we had lots of crisps and chocolate no no it wouldn't be that But, I would say Wadsworth is one of the nicer looking pets. Whoa, random lag. I tend to get a bit of that here and there. Just noticed um, Stinky produced bubbles. I don't know whether he's the only one breathing, or whether that's just part of this tank. I hope that strange lag doesn't come out in the video. Never mind. Right, there we go. Oh, I can't even afford to upgrade the food. Enemy approaching. Um, here we have Guppy Cruncher, which is a new creature. There you go. What's worth doing is stuff. Right, let's upgrade the food now. Um, I'll do my summary of Guppy Cruncher now. Essentially, they're more creatures that need to um, be bought for you to unlock the ability to buy the egg pieces. And like carnivores, they survive by eating baby guppies, but they only go along the bottom of the tank and they have to jump up to try and snatch up the guppies. Um, which can be annoying if all of your ones are hanging around at the top, so sometimes you have to drop food near the bottom to lure some down. Um, which you may not always notice um, if you're busy doing other things. Hmm. So I'll save up enough and then you'll be able to see it, rather than just sort of trusting my word on it. Yeah, I forgot we don't ha um, didn't choose Prego, so we only have the ones that we actually buy. Drop one in to make sure I don't lose. Though since it is this alien, it's not really much of a problem. Whoa, that fish got a bit close. Guppy Cruncher. Here he is. Only a thousand, so fairly easy. Um, and there you go, Guppy Crunchers produce beetles. Slur them down. There you go. Um, so yeah, they drop beetles, which sort of climb up the tank instead of going down. Um, and they just get you money, really. Um, their significance will be up later, but they're worth 50. So basically a gold and a silver coin combined um, and it barely pays for itself with the sort of guppies it eats so we're quite close now see buying more multiples of food cost almost as much as the egg pieces here 
since it's the first level it's always like fairly easy and quick I think I might do two in one episode it's going yellow so I'll just let him eat some food oh wait ah, we're done here we have Seymour the turtle Seymour's presence makes all coins and diamonds drift at a slower rate rather a useful pet actually when he's combined with stinky um, he's especially good because not only do they fall slow but they hang around at the bottom of the tank for a lot longer so stinky can just sort of sweep along and pick them all up um, he's the pet I was referring to when I said earlier that stinky's better when combined with others so we'll show you Seymour enough of Wadsworth we'll combine him with stinky and also Meryl as well because you've probably seen enough of Prego and her wonderful noise that she makes. Um, so, I also like the look of Seymour, even though he looks quite sad for some reason. Just keep buying more fish. You got to sort of remember to do that. Of course, in the last tank, it will become a lot less significant to buy fish, but you'll see. See how slow the money falls? Of course, I can just click it at the moment. Um, but he is brilliant if you've got millions of fish in the tank, because then you can pick up loads, because you tend to lose quite a lot of the money if there's too many fish, like without any gathers. Come on, eat it and grow, so that we can move on to the next stage. Um, I suppose, what should I talk about? Possibly my next LP. Um, surprise, surprise, um, D, that's the robot one. Uh, I've actually been able to, hang on, I can't even hear myself. Um. I've actually been able to contact the FRAP support forum thing, um, their administrators, and they've actually looked up Feeding Frenzy 2 for Steam, and they checked the demo, and they found that in full screen mode it actually runs on a different um, sort of game engine thing. So if I actually run it in a windowed mode, I can actually record it for a Let's Play. Um, I don't know what you think about that. I don't know whether you want another LP in between because you want a break from a fish game, um, which I think I might do because um, I suppose it's nice to have a gap between the fish games, even for me recording and for you as viewers. Um, the five of you that you are. Um, but it's been nice to be getting a few more comments. Um, if you have any sort of popularity at all, or care about sharing my channel around, you can just sort of um, help me advertise for it if you want to, because um, no matter how good your content is, um, if nobody can see it, then you won't um, get the viewers you so sort of deserve. I'm not being bigoty in saying that, I'm just saying that I imagine more than five people um, would actually want to watch these videos. Out of the entire population of the world, I'm sure I can get at least one more um, person who'd actually like to see my content. Um, but don't forget to support all of the channels that I've mentioned in my other channels and um, thing. Some of them more popular than others. Um, most popular being Cup of Team. Um, but they're brilliant. So watch them anyway. A couple cruncher. Right, here we have it. A beetle muncher. Again, I mentioned the... Oh my lord. I mentioned the significance of the beetles it actually produces. And they actually feed the beetle muncher. Because it's 2,000, so it actually costs twice that of the egg in the previous level. Um, so hopefully it will not be too arduous. 
um, in completing this level within the time limit. I forgot to set the alarm or set a clock nearby, so I have no idea. Alarm? Right, let's just. Uh, 5,000 shouldn't be too bad. There you go. So it ate the beetle, and it itself drops little pearl things worth 200, I think. I'm food alien. <laughs> Don't eat my beetle much, you dare. Oh no, I didn't buy enough food things. Definitely need to buy another beetle nut. Um, Guppy Cruncher. This is the beetle muncher. Sorry, I'm just getting confused with my words here. I didn't buy enough food things to keep on dropping them. Um, so as you can see, it's sort of in a sort of cycle of reliance. Buy a few more guppies, lure them to the bottom so they can keep eating. Um, the general plan is just to, um, I'm going to try and more rely on these than just sort of filling my tank with guppies, because that may be a little more dynamic and interesting for you viewers to watch. Let's buy another one, which I should probably stop doing that. Come on, come to the bottom. Go, my beetle crunches. Um, guppy munchers, not beetle crunches. Wow, it's getting a bit laggy. I hope that's not really coming out on the video. Um, because it's more for your sake than mine. Um, so hopefully we'll be in, um, under 15 minutes. Again, I'll do the review at the start of the next video just to make sure that I'm not over the time limit. Food area. Good. I was trying not to let him eat my... Oh, um, each my beetle crunches, that's it. Right, so I've got to sort of focus on making sure that I feed the guppies and also feed the guppy crunches and the beetle munches. That way around? Yeah. Wow, quite the tongue twister this level. So just gotta keep on bringing them to the bottom. Make sure that my guppy crunches are happy. Oh, stop picking up the beetles, me! Because otherwise my beetle munchers will suffer. So, almost complete. And there we go. So here we have Shrapnel the Robot Fish, who I will review next time. See you!